In this video, I'm gonna give you four tips for how to use your MacBook trackpad like a pro. Let's jump in. All right, we're gonna start with my very favorite tip, and that is the three finger drag. So all we're gonna do is go up here to your system preferences, and we're gonna open the accessibility tab and scroll right down here to the left to where it says pointer control. Now, normally when you wanna drag something on your MacBook, you have to click and drag it, which can become a little bit difficult, especially if you're dragging something across your screen. And so the way we're gonna fix this is we're gonna turn on three finger drag. So what we do is we click trackpad options right here, click enable dragging, and then switch this here to where it says three finger drag and click OK. Now, instead of dragging by pressing and holding, you can drag by just touching your trackpad with three fingers. You don't have to press. You literally just can drag with three fingers. This saves me a whole lot of time. So my next tip for you is gonna be changing the tracking speed on your MacBook. What tracking is, is it's just the speed at which your cursor moves across the screen. And so we're gonna change that. Sometimes it's helpful to change the tracking speed. So if you go here into your system preferences, click where it says trackpad right there. Right here is where you can change the tracking speed of your mouse. You'll see that as I pull it up here, it goes across the screen much faster. If you pull it down here, it goes across much slower. And this is kind of a matter of personal preference. I would open your Mac, try this out, and see which, uh, which tracking speed you feel the most comfortable at. I like mine right about here on the faster side so that I can do things quickly. Here's another tip that I love. It's called tap to click. And what you're gonna do is go to your system preferences again. We're gonna go right back to where we were in the trackpad settings, and just click here to where it says tap to click. And what that does is uh, normally when you are clicking something on your MacBook to open it. You have to click and kind of press down until you feel the feedback on your trackpad for it to open. But this allows you to just tap with one finger uh, very lightly. You don't even have to feel the feedback on your trackpad. And it allows you just to open things more quickly and makes it a little bit easier to use your trackpad. Here is my fourth and final tip for you on using your trackpad, and that is to get familiar with gestures. What gestures are are just simple ways that you can utilize your trackpad using different motions to make the most out of your Mac. So we'll go up here to your system preferences one more time and we're gonna go down to the trackpad once again. And you'll see that there are several gestures here if you click scroll and zoom. A simple example of a gesture is to scroll using two fingers. So you can scroll up and down using two fingers on your Mac. But if we go to more gestures over here, you'll see that there are a bunch of different gestures um, that maybe you're not familiar with. So for example, you can swipe between two pages using two fingers in Safari, or you can swipe between full screen apps or different desktop tops using four fingers. This is one of my favorite gestures to use. Try that one out. And then you have mission control. If you swipe up with four fingers, it shows you everything that you have open on your Mac in that moment. And you can pick which application you wanna use. And then we have the launch pad. If you pinch together, with your thumb and three fingers, you'll see all your applications show up in your launch pad. So I would recommend going through all of these, trying them out, getting familiar with them, and this will make using your Mac so much more user-friendly. It'll become a natural thing for you to use these gestures. And that's my final tip. Thank you so much for watching. By the way, this video is a part of my mini course, How to Use a MacBook Like a Pro. Sign up with the link below, it's totally free. And of course, subscribe to my channel to stay up to date on future videos and courses.